I was excited when I read that the Talman Company was building a mall right up the street from me. So I built a website about the mall. They literally spared no expense. It's just a gorgeous place. These chairs are covered with either leather or some kind of fake leather. And they're woods. On the escalator, most malls are just metal. A big deal for the grand opening. And then all the stores opened up and they all... I walked into Neiman's first and all the employees were lined up and applauding as the first group of customers came into their brand new store. The stores were decorated. It was quite the event. It was right below here. The real reason that I wanted to create the website was because I thought it would be fun. It has a photograph of the mall descriptions of all the anchor stores, a map of the mall and of the streets around the mall, the size of the mall, how many stores were going to be in it, how many restaurants, how many parking spaces. I had the site running for two years before Tobman even found out about it and contacted me. One day I got a letter from a law firm and I opened it up and they told me that they represented the Taubman Company and that the domain name that I had chosen for my website, shopsatwillowbend.com, was a trademark infringement and that they would do all kinds of nasty things to me if I didn't give them the domain. I was surprised at the tone of the letter. I just didn't see why they would be threatening me. So I wrote a letter to one of the attorneys asking her if she could describe what I was doing that was illegal. Uh, she was a trademark lawyer. She should be able to instantly point me to the section of trademark law that I was violating. You would think their response was to file a lawsuit. I guess that's the way lawyers answer letters. So when I responded to her, I told her that if she pursued the lawsuit, if her client pursued the lawsuit, I would register bunch of complaint domain names. Shops at WillowBendSucks.com, WillowBendMallSucks.com, and TobmanSucks.com. And that I would use those domain names to document the case and to tell everybody in the world what they were doing to me, because I felt they were treating me very unfairly. The issue was, can I use a domain name that's very close to somebody else's trademark? I guess the judge didn't think so. He issued an injunction that forced me to take my Shops at Willow Bend site offline. As you know, we represent the Tomlin Company. If your website is not off here at 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, we're going to file a motion to hold you in contempt. And I didn't want to risk being in contempt, so I just, uh, I just killed the site. I just took it off the web. Now I had to figure out how to go about fighting an injunction. I never even considered hiring a lawyer. That simply was not an option. It turns out that a lot of people who have filed those kinds of motions, their motions are right there on the web. And I just formatted everything the same way. You know, I centered the headings a certain way and indented the paragraphs and numbered things just the way that they had. After that, I launched TaubmanSucks.com. That's the most succinct statement that I could think to make about how I felt about the Taubman Company was that one domain name, TaubmanSucks.com. And then I had 200 pages of material backing it up. When they realized that there was a TaubmanSucks.com site actually online, they filed an injunction to force me to take that site offline too. Taubman was using the courts to keep both my sites off the web. I would have been in a situation where I was fighting a huge company with a big law firm all by myself. But because of the web, I was in that same fight, but with a very large, helpful, and knowledgeable internet community. Using the web, I found an attorney to represent me for free, and we found an expert to help us rebut some of Taubman's arguments. For instance, they were claiming that I was using their trademark in my domain name, and that was confusing some of their customers. Now, the, the answer to that is twofold. First of all, 
If you go to a search engine like Google and you type in the shops at Willow Bend, uh, you're going to get the actual mall's website up at the top of the list very quickly. The other issue is do people who are talking about the shopping mall have as much right to be found on the internet using that name as the people who actually run the mall? I believe that they do, I, and I argued that in my, in my brief. Taubman's attorney had said that I was free to shout my criticism of Taubman from the rooftops. But I couldn't use their trademark and my domain name to do that. When the appeals court ruled in our favor, one of the judges quoted that and said that today's domain names are what the rooftops used to be. Winning was great. A very strong opinion was rendered at the appeals court level. The next person who wants to do a sucks.com website will not have to go through what I went through. Walmart sucks. Fisher Price. McDonald's. Home Depot. Sucks. 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 The mall really doesn't suck. It's the way that the owners of the mall and their law firm have treated me that sucks.